Hello and welcome back to a game in progress for our Dreamhack Monsters Malmo qualifier for the Oceanic region. It's a it's a matchup that was going on the other side of the bracket from our previous game, which was Greyhound and Jade will be looking for their opponent between Order and Genuine Order or one map up. And it looks like Genuine are wanting to square the series with their current standing at 14 and 6. But you still are way in the back and has dropped the bomb. Cat has actually dropped the bomb carry. That's a big deal. And Skull Hunter will be quick to trade and really wanting to stop Order and their recon shenanigans. I'll get our introductions in eventually. My name is Cyber Waste. I'm joined by Peronius and. Go and golly, they're not even giving us a chance to breathe either no. of these teams. No, definitely a much higher stakes round of Inferno here. We quickly see the bomb brought back under control by Genuine Gaming, and they're going to start to thread it towards the A site now. Really only Valiance there with the SMG trying to keep this attack at bay. We'll see how that goes. Oh! Do doesn't of getting one, but that is traded out by Jinx. Skull Hunter was the one to fall the hand of the UMP, and now Genuine are wanting to pick up the bomb, and Jinx just actually jumped right over it. So, might have, might have just gotten a little bit lost in translation, but that's given a chance for Has to get back into position. The bomb is now down. Smoke might be beginning to dissipate, and Jinx is aware of this. Has re smoked that off, but Has has moved forward. Does. Either member of Genuine No. They're definitely gonna know now Just because Jinx has gone down and now Prakam. No one versus one. Prakam for the pit will bring Genuine to match point. Now 15 and 6. And looking at Order's economy, they're gonna have to really scrape to even get it to OT. And Genuine. They can't, they can't really let, wrestle their laurels though. They're gonna have to take a breath, take it one step at a time, and close this out. Absolutely. Really, like, that one really could have gone either way with that last, end of that last round, just looking at the health levels, so... that's almost able to win that one out. Goes down at the end. Early kill onto Hats there now. Frank goes down as well. early stages but a lot of these games seem to be based on aggression and at least uh, genuine and a, a couple of members of their core mainly skull hunter and jinx come to mind well skull hunter speaking of which i cast a curse him super hard he goes down to the hands of alistair that is not the bomb drop though that is on the back of epoch dud Order looking to make some cash this round with the SMGs. A really nice incendiary there, going to redirect the members of Genuine, but... Relistair still getting caught out there, taken down by the AK, and... Now we're going to see the rotation coming through from the members of Order. They're going to converge onto A, and at the same time, Genuine are rotating back to B. It looks like the rotation has been cancelled. It's going to be a rush for position on that bomb site. Looks like they're just beginning to slide in on both sides. When they make the cross, it'll be up to all the members by the flower pot. And that'll be imagine going down. And Valius goes down. It is only Ustillo left in a one versus two. And that will be that after the trade. And that is one map apiece. And we move and we move along to Nuke for our third map of the set. And well. I'm pretty sure that Greyhound will now be watching this match with bated breath. If they weren't before, they definitely are now, knowing that we are tied going into the final map. And they'll be looking along and perhaps strategizing or just trying to figure out how to play against certain squads. We're still moving into the changing section, and to be to be brutally honest, looking at this set on paper, it was looking to be either extremely cut and dry, 
or it was going to be a tightly contested affair. Not in terms of the scoreline, but in terms of the map score. We're definitely tied at one and, and moving along to one of the... It's one of the strangest maps in the pool for some for some people at the very least. We're moving along to Nuke, which has gone through plenty of shifts out of the light since the rate since the rework. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Nuke, a bit of a, a bit of an insular map, a lot of twists and turns in there, a lot of close quarters combat available, but there are still some long sight lines in that one as well, so it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out and which of these teams are really going to get the upper hand here because it all comes down to this one for this series and for further progress through the qualifier. And to reiterate, this is the DreamHack Masters Malmo closed qualifier for Oceania and the winner of this match will be playing Greyhound, which is the set that we had just seen on stream. And it was a 2-0 win to Greyhound, a 16-12, and then a 16-1 run by them. So Greyhound will be observing any and all goings-on from this set, I'm almost certain. Absolutely, and it looks like we will be having Genuine Gaming starting over on the CT side, Order starting on P side. They'll, be, they'll still be shuffling in and out into the server, so things will be a little bit uh, strange in terms of the UI, but it will all be sorted out. I think it will be a knife to determine sides for the final map. So we'll see how that will all transpire. If you're, if you're playing Nuke, you'd definitely be looking to start on the CT side. Because traditionally, until very recently, some would, some would say it's been a lot heavier towards the CTs. Maybe not so much anymore, but you'd still want... It, it basically, in any map of Counter-Strike, you'd still be wanting to get the strongest start. 100%. Any advantage you can get coming into this, especially in a tied-up series, you absolutely want to take it. Do not want to leave anything to chance if you can help it everything's on the line here there is no bounce back from us it's just single elimination so everything is on the table here for both these teams and genuine putting in a good showing against what would be the favorites of order that would definitely have heavily favored with everything that i had seen and well i mean genuine just Talking on the org as a whole and not in CS, looking at at least their uh, division in fighting games, it is absolutely so stacked, it is unfair. And perhaps they're siphoning some of that energy while the members aren't playing at the moment. Or maybe they're just running sets, who knows. But maybe they could be as strong as some of the members that they've, that they've picked up on the side of Genuine in their Tekken division. But that's a, that's a 3D fighter, not a first-person shooter. Absolutely. So as we load in here, Cyber, who, who are our players to watch from these sides? Who are going to be the big playmakers for both these teams? There's, pl there's plenty of pedigree on both sides, but for, if we were to choose one on each side, it's extremely difficult on the side of order because you do have a, a lot of veteran presence, like the likes of Silo. Imagine Alistair. Uh, my pick would always be Hats. He's, he's always been a positional but an extremely clutch player whenever it, whenever the need does arise. And on the side of Genuine, I'm I'm going to take all analysis and throw it out the window. We we'll just base it on one fact: Skull Hunter, because his name is uh, his name is super cool, <laughs> and it's. It's been really good. And I remember him being a standout as well, like way back. This would be going back around nine months to a year when he was on what was formerly known as Masterminds. He was having a breakout time there, and that's only strengthened as time has gone on. So I'll be looking forward to his stat line and how he contributes to the upcoming map. And we're still waiting for one more to get into the server. And, well, you'd be wanting to take as much time as you can 
to sort of reconfigure yourself, just recenter yourself, and you're because you are going into a match that has such high stakes and maybe news is even going through that you know who your opponent is now in the next game that'll be on the ticket. So that might be playing on the minds of some of these players. Yeah, I mean, they they may not necessarily know that the other match on the other side of the bracket is already finished by now, but you certainly, you ha anytime you go to a third map, there is that risk and there is that potential thought in the back of your mind especially in this sort of delayed loading into the map portion. You've got more time to go and look into things, go and check score lines, and otherwise get inside your own head instead of just focusing on the game in front of you. So this sort of extended delay may not be doing any favours for these players. Either that or it's just par for the course and they're used to it. That's two, <laughs> that's two different minds that you could have for that. And, whoa. Actually, really, cu really curious choice as to how we ended up here. We ended up with Nuke after the veto. Just, just give me a moment to pull this up. Yeah, it was uh, ge genuine that removed Vertigo. Vertigo hasn't really caught on. Uh, Order had removed Overpass. Uh, genuine pick Mirage, which Order had won 16 to 8. And then Inferno was picked by Order, which was won by Genuine, which you just saw. And then Dust 2 and Train were removed by Genuine and Order, respectively. And that's how the map Nuke was left. I'm actually a little bit, a little bit surprised that uh, Train was removed by Order. That's been one of their stronger maps from memory but perhaps with the shuffling that's been going on they might not be feeling comfortable on that map at the moment potentially at the same time the teams seem to have won on each other's primary map choices as well so at this point who knows what is going to happen because already we've seen basically a double upset so to speak and as a result, here we are on Nuke. A lot of pressure on the table here for both these teams to really perform here. And especially with a lot more, a lot more on the line, especially with other tournaments that are going on. One had just started a couple of nights ago. The big league of... Uh, the big season of the Mountain Dew League from ESCA. They'll be still focusing on that as well and knowing what will be in their horizons for that. But we are now at a 10-man server. We're waiting for the ready to be called and the teams to be shuffled into their positions. We shall be getting underway and it will be our third and final map in this set, a best of three between Genuine and Order, broadcast by Capping TV, and we thank you so, so much for your company. I've been Cyber Waste. I am joined by Peronius, and we will be the storytellers for the upcoming map of Nuke. And you can basically flip a coin as to how we will start and how this will end. We will be doing a knife to determine sides. And we'll run you through your lineups quickly. On the side of Genuine, we have Skull Hunter, Jinx, Jinx Maker, Stat, and Apoch Dunn. On the side of Order, we have Yustillo, Alistair, Ooh. Imagine, Valiance, and Hats. And it looks like Whoa. Order will be winning the knife round really handily. And that will give them the power of choice. They just tore through that knife round. Oof. Been, that's been the order of things, and as, as I was as I was thinking and theorizing in my head that the power of choice would go towards the CT side, and it looks like that is how order will start. We're moving into the pistol round for our third and final map between order and genuine gaming for the close qualifier for the Dreamhack Masters in Marmo. 
Thank you for your company. We are underway. We have two with utility on the side of Genuine and four armored up and the kit on hats for the CT side. Looks like a full blown blood force A hit and, and has had no idea what hit him. Well, Skull had hit him, but that was with a bullet. And Stride actually did the assist and more well, order. They were not expecting things to go with this sort of pace so early. And they're on the outside looking in very early on. And look at Baker's position underneath Ooh. heaven. Extremely strong. And that will claim one. And Alistair and Valiance will start to stem the tide. Valiance will claim another one. And it looks like Ooh. one member's on the bomb. Well, not anymore. So that will put a bullet in his head. And now it's a two versus two. A-Bog a is was down. A quick one. A bug is down, and yeah, definitely a quick one. And there's the diffuse just diffuse. in time. The diffuse right under his nose. A three K from Stat, and that kit. I said it was. I said it was uh, going to be a pivotal part of that buy, and that's exactly what it was. Despite it being down at the end, that extra five that five seconds that shaved off is a big deal, especially when it gets planted under your nose like that. Gonna set order up in a good position to get an early lead here. They're actually coming out to this one with tools in the tool belt, some weapons at their disposal, and Skull Hunter gets picked up early by that FAMAS. Genuine trying to make it, trying to get it done with the digs. We'll see if they can. So far, they've only got a little bit of damage in, not much to show for it, and they're starting to already feel the noose around them as the CTs begin to close in on them. Uh, it might be a little bit of a strong terminology, but that is a 50 action express right to the dome of Imagine. He is down and out, and it looks like Genuine are moving towards the ramp, and Hats is there to greet him with a little thing called bullets from the FAMAS. And that's definitely forced Genuine's hand, and... Ooh. Ooh. That'll oh, be Alistair, no. Alistair going down on a bit of a back rage there, and that's made things a little bit awkward. Baker has made it down to the B bomb site in the lower deck. <laughs> so definitely be tested. Uh, the retake will be a lot easier for Border, but if Jigs can keep doing that, that'll be just fine. But Looking from this position, it's not in a strong spot for Jinx to defend. Looks like Jinx will be caught in transition. Well, it'll be caught easily for the office by Valiance, and they'll be defused there. And a second for order, but Genuine will be happy with that, all things considered. They got a couple of bomb plants. They're able to buy in properly, even with Kriegs at their disposal as opposed to AKs. So... Definitely, definitely uh, a lot to smile about the side of Genuine moving into the first proper round in terms of buys. Yeah, absolutely. Genuine actually in something of a stronger economic position than the CTs, thanks to, well, the T side being a little cheaper to buy in for, but all going to be on these early exchanges and which side can get the opening through. See a lot of people playing outside at the moment. And Valiance on the, uh, imagine, excuse me, on top of the boxes towards ramp. He might have been expecting a couple of T's to run through radio and towards the ramp. It doesn't look like that's come to fruition. Genuine is setting up towards the A side, it would appear, and towards outside. A lot of their utils actually flown towards outside to cut off the hut and the garage position to make any of the long range that was potentially on the table for order a lot less useful and that hurts when you lose a lot of manpower Ooh. too. But Imag will be able to trade that back and that was with the MP9 and any frags with the SMG are going to hold a lot of value in these early stages because... Buying on the CT side is not cheap. They're going to have to buy another one for Alistair, should he so choose. While well, he's completely tapped, he may have to eco. And genuine, just being a lot slower, but imagine just being a thorn in their side. Was hoping to get his hands on a weapon, but can't do so because of Epoch Dud. 
And now we're at three versus two, and it looks like Jenny are moving down towards the lower site. And Apog is moving into position to put the bomb down. They're now on the lower deck, and Ord is already into position to do this. Few shots into the door there. No one behind that one, but not known as of yet. Order looking to slowly work their way in. They do get Jinx, but unfortunately, Apoko Dud there clean up the rest of it, and that's going to put Genuine Gaming on the board here. It was a, it was basically a tail of a coin flip. You could either try and both both CTs get it right and take out the perspective members. Or they were just gonna guess it wrong, and it looked like Apoc was just sitting there biding his time, much like much like Batman would, and just let it rip. And a lot of pressure Ooh. from Bat from Alistair, just moving through that plume of smoke with no fear and a lot of damage done to Apoc is still standing, but very very weary. And. Good opening though for Genuine, they got a lot done there and now they're rotating back through, they don't want to go through outside after that, but uh, well, Jinx left there waiting, they're going to pick up Gustillo and there's the first trade back, a Skull Hunter goes down, but Valiance goes down off the back of that as well, now it's just reimagined there with the pistol. 1v4, not an enviable position to be in, they'll probably be looking for a gun, try and get Something. Oop. And Emag e can't even get that. That'll be the Mac 10 doing the honors. And we are tied at two. Going into round number five and looking at the money situation for order. They'll either be just going for power pistols or just taking this one on the chin because they're around uh, 1950 to 21 or 2250. So. Yeah, just take one more. You've got the loss bonus starting to work in your favor. And looks like that's how Order have elected to move forward. Perhaps a little bit of aggression to catch Genuine off guard. Skull, Skull Hunter is more than ready for that. Clean up pads oh, wow. and satin jinx. Just going through the motions on the side of Order. They know that this round is basically a gimme. So they just want to get it over and done with as quickly as possible. And Genuine will even be able to get the bomb down. So that's a good Ooh. enough deal. Almost. Apoc no, could go so down. close. No, nope, doesn't end up happening. So Genuine will take the lead. And now Order can buy in properly and try and get a rebuttal in over the last couple of rounds. There is a slight weakness in terms of the... For Mars on the back of Ustilla, but he's been a strong enough player to warrant that type of purchases and just focus on utility. And Genuine Strat has moved straight into the site and has given Valiance what for, and Jinx has done the same to Hats. So there's basically two for two for this blunt force play onto the upper site. And he's been seized with such aggression so quickly, and Order is dispersing as quickly as uh, Genuine came in. They don't want any part of this, and make up. Oh no! Might be able to catch <laughs> Alistair out by 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 T Red, and that's exactly what happened. So now it's only you still haven't imagined. And Genuine, they know that this round's won, but they don't want to go hunting. They don't want to give up anybody's. Because even though their money is a good stead, perhaps Apoc could be a liability in the later stages and that bomb will be left to explode and there's going to be no engagement. So 4 and 2 is your current line and a good start for Genuine moving forward. And on the side of order, you will be wanting to protect those members that have weapons. You'll be wanting to protect them with your life. And Hats has bought a Deagle and a CZ on Valiance. This would be to bring their money totals slightly more in line. If Hats can get a 1B, that'll be a big deal. If he could Skull, Skull Hunter, 
Uh, doing the cartoony outline. Can't quite get it from Skull Hunter on top of Silo. Yeah, just hunting around early exchanges there, but nothing a lot happening. Not, not as decisive and aggressive as we've seen previously from Genuine, but uh, good variety in their play, and really does harken it back to, uh, well, the anecdotes about this being a CT-favoured map, because so far Genuine have really just surprised order regularly with just their raw aggression, but, oh, here comes the trades back. Farmer's getting some work done. Uh, the AWP will definitely be known now. And has decided to reload just as the T's decide to cross over towards secret by a CT by a T red. And Strat will say, That's not that's enough. Stop that. And three of the members will move down towards secret. And they'll be the bomb in tow. Other stairs tucked towards the double doors. Doors actually haven't been open until very recently. So order they definitely be wanting to just play passive. He still does get one, but is quickly dealt with. And Valiance will follow suit now. Our stare one versus three with the Deagle, and he can't do that with a bullet in his face. Jinx will do the honors, and we are at five and two after seven. And order, they'll be wanting to really start to at least try to get a grip back into things and Alistair wanting to consider his buy and that is a pause that has been called briefly. We'll see what this is for. It'll be safe to assume that there's a this is a uh, tactical pause. It'll be by order would be safe to say because I haven't seen any fluctuations in ping and you'll know that this is a big round. You've got a lot of util, you've bought down to quite a bit. You still is on 1k2. Are uh, completely tapped out. Big Alistair would imagine. 350 for Valiance and 50 for Hats. And you'll definitely be wanting to strategize. Force Genuine to sort of take their time or, or punish them for aggression depending on how well this shakes out. But you'll definitely want to make this count in the side of order before Genuine starts to run away with it. Like, look at the totals after the buy for Genuine. Three are floating around t uh, between 9 and 10k. Yeah, and Apple Dog's not that far from 9k either. And mm -hmm. that's going to be an early pickup onto Imagine as well. So another good opening round for Genuine. Hat's under a lot of pressure. He knows they're bearing down on him. Can he give the performance he needs to to start turning this one around? It's definitely not out of the realm of possibility, knowing his uh, previous portfolio or play. And how I long? see them backing off here now. They decided not to not to push it. Orp changing hands and. Uh... Okay, they tried to. There we go. It went over to the aptly named Skull Hunter. And moving into 45 seconds, and either they're moving out towards radio and through the hut, and he's still is right on top to get one, but doesn't quite get get it all the way out. Genuine will get two to the one of order, and that'll be the bomb site cleaned out. The bomb will be put down by Jinx, and it's only Alistair for the hut. He can't go anymore. Skull Hunter will finish off the tag up Alistair. And now it is Hats. We were hot. we were talking about it before. But now he is in a one versus four, a post plant situation. He wants nothing to do with it. And will just try to hang on to his M4, his flash, his armor, and his kit. It's been a rough time for Order. It's been especially a rough time for Alistair, who has been the one watching outside a lot. Which means a lot of those really aggressive pushes from Genuine have just rolled him over before he's had a chance to even react, so... Definitely need to see a little more from Order here, because there is a lot of momentum starting to get behind Genuine here. 6-2 the stall line now. See a bit of gun juggling in the buy round, but... Really, they don't have a lot to play with, Order. They've 
really going for a bit of a utility round here. Uh, a bit of an economy round, rather. They've got a little bit of a utility, but really heavily concentrated. Armored pistol round for most of them. The only person not opting for armor is Alistair. Who, just judge from his total up is seven to drop an orb or use that himself. Depending on how it pans out. And genuine knowing this, uh, gonna take gonna take their time because if you've watched AUCS for any period, you'll know the power of the eco pistol rounds, and you might get oh, collapsed wow. in upon and Maker will survive taking two before being overrun by CT members. And Epo oh, actually gets the dink on the Alistair. So he's unable to retrieve a rifle despite the effort that and Skull Hunter is in heaven and has eliminated Hats and Alistair. So now it is only imagine in a one versus four extremely angry, genuinely angry tease. And the bomb will now be down. The Krieg will be retrieved by Imagine and he's got one thing in mind and that is to run. And he can't do that when a pop puts a three threat the poor right to the chest. So that is seven now for genuine and order. They're they're running out of chances early on, and this has basically gone against every piece that I'd I'd said in the opening that it was a CT sided map. It's becoming more and more apparent the more the trainers play the T's have been the stronger favorite, at least based off of how Genuine has been playing as of late. Oh, that wow. aggression coming through for Skull Hunter, and Hats was not ready for it. Definitely not, and you still definitely was though, and now the cavalry is definitely that's here. That's spicy. That is a hot one, and you still imagine an Alistair will basically Battle them back and say, yeah, that's that's enough of that. Uh, Tempe yourselves, cool off a little bit. And yes, they do win around and have a few survive, but they are definitely not in the clear yet. Look at the look at the economy that you have to chew through as a CT when you're going through Genuine's uh, coffers at the moment. Eleven thousand two hundred for stat, ten thousand eight hundred for Jinx, and pretty hefty amounts of money on Apoc and. And uh, Skull Hunter as well. So you're definitely not in the clear yet. Yeah, but it looks like maybe in that last round, Genuine just getting a little overconfident there. And it coming back to bite them. We'll see how that... That continues through here, but already we're seeing a bit more of a measured pace from Genuine. They're looking to probe out use up the utility of the CT side and, and then look to engage after it. So they know they've got the economic advantage. They know they can afford to invest utility to bait out utility. Oh, that's just brutal. Yep, wait, just wait at the bottom of the ladder for someone. And because that val that weapon is such high value, as opposed to picking it up yourself, that was Molotov'd off to prevent anyone getting their mitts on it. So if you wanted to, you'd have to sacrifice a bit of health Ooh. for it. Imagine catching oh my. genuine unawares does claim a third, but no more. Makers put a stop to that. So it's so it's you still have a valiance against Maker Ooh, that's and the Jinx. Bomb down. And now it's only Jinx. That is the bomb down and in the power of order. Ooh. Jinx has shrunken this in a one versus one. Did take a lot of damage to do it. 90%, but there, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Valiant's putting the ending onto that one. The punctuation mark on the end of that sentence, and Order starting to be back in this game. We've uh, been wondering where they've been for a while, but it looks like looks like they are back into this map. They pick up another round there and uh, start to swing a bit of momentum their way. They've still got a bit of a way to go, however. Yes, indeed, and... The rounds, uh, the buys, looking pretty even on both sides, as opposed, uh, except for perhaps Imagine Strap using a lot, a lot of aggression. Genuine's really loving the the silent hot play, and it's paying off dividends, especially Maker bringing up the rears. Does ta does take a lot of damage for it, but 
if you're clearing out the CTs at this stage, you'd definitely say it was worth it. And Jinx well, imagine. wanted to catch the rotation out of radio. And that'll be that. Imagine will be turned to dust. Now, Alistair, here, look at, just look at the weapon alone. Just ignoring the rest of the kit that he's got on him. He would be one to hang on to that for dear life. Because the AWP is worth so much. At any time, but especially Ooh. on Nuke. With that, and he's going to give them an idea as to where he's hiding. So the hunting party is coming out looking for him. Will they catch him in time? Skull. Oh, Alistair definitely do them. One person oh, is coming. Oh, they got they him. Not, he did, they did expect a body, though. That was Apoc getting the final frag and the orb to boot that was taken off of his corpse. And that is a... Big, big get and a big punctuation mark on that half for them at the very least. And they are leading 8-4. to four. They have one out to half, essentially, on the T side. And now, genuine are just shooting out the windows from spawn to perhaps tell it, perhaps uh, just mask what their next movements are on the side of order. And you can tell with the order's positioning, they're just wanting to let this round go by and just talk their round, talk themselves through it and what and how they will basically what their game plan will be moving forward because it, it you were just starting to find your footing and then genuine just pull the rug out yeah with that same aggressive play it's been working so well for genuine every time they've every time they've really gone for it they've managed to just Drop in here, get the bomb down in A really quickly, usually picking up two to three frags on top of that as well. So, certainly understand if things are starting to go against you. Of course you go back to that play. It's been working for you so well. That's it. Uh, only eliminated Skull Hunter before being traded out. And other Order members are starting to roll in from heaven and Hats will be knocked down in Ooh. quick order. Match didn't end up getting another one, but it's looking like order was getting restored. It's it got a little bit hairy though. Only two surviving, but the Krieg and Orp were picked up, so no harm, no foul. Still plenty of coin on the side of genuine. And now order can buy in properly as well, moving into round number 14. And order will be doing their absolute best to finish this half at a 9-6. Yeah, absolutely. Order investing everything they've got here. They really, really don't want to drop this one. Because they'd like to get the next two rounds and at least close the gap a little bit before heading into the next half. Skull Hunter sitting by Silo. Hasn't seen any activity, but is. Perhaps hearing a lot of the stamping around of the CTs and will be relaying that to the teammates. A lot of utility being invested here, but oh, okay, this is big. And okay. that'll be Epoch just stopping his advance and lobby. And getting smoked off as well because that weapon that was dropped is still quite valuable. And Skull Hunter, despite being tagged up, did get one, but Hats, Alistair, and Valiant have put the kibosh on that hit. And there's another one for order, and they're getting ever closer to that ideal for them now 9 6 scoreline before going into the change. Yeah, that was absolutely the round order needed there. That not only did they win, they won it cheaply, only losing one person. And that's gonna yeah, that's gonna carry it through and set them up here. They still are easily able to get a gun from a friendly teammate. So everyone coming in with a good buy. And genuine still not hurting for a not still not hurting for economy either, so this is going to be the full rumble here, but order, they need to pick up this one up because they're already in a hole. Ooh, and losing yeah. hats is not a good opening. De definitely not, and Alistair actually got that traded back despite having a bit of a 
disadvantage in that initial engagement. All v four, the scoreline as the two teams continue to circle around here, just looking for each other. Skull Hunter making his way into the back here now and checking all the angles. Maybe wanting to, he's moving in towards heaven and perhaps wanting to cut off a rotate. Valiance was far too aware of that, but is traded out by Makeup. Now we are in a three versus three. It looks like the B bomb site has been compromised. The, oh, it looked like it was down on the lower deck. No, it's on the upper tank. The uh, the bomb sites are on top of each other, so Ooh. sometimes it looks a bit stranger. And that's going to really stifle any Ouch. movement from Imagine and definitely any movement from Alice there yeah, because he is no longer conscious. That'll be up to the welcoming party of Emag and you still know. And now only Imagine showing that veteran presence, surviving with 3 HP. Will he have time for the defuse? Got the kit? I yes. think he might. Yes, he will. Just only in just, time. only just though. So it, oh, it was a. If genuine were able to hang on just for about even a quarter of a second longer, that would have been boom, and that would have been a ten five half as opposed to a nine six half. And it's a feelings mutual. Genuine will be happy that they got nine, but probably would have wanted to have that ten. And order were happy that they ended up getting that six round. Give it how clo how close they cut it to letting that round go away. And now we'll see how orders prowess on the T side will be compared to genuine. Genuine are four armored up and the kit on stat and two being in their carriers on order. Being imagined and Alistair and Alistair get tagged up extremely early and a lot of early trades. Moving towards Genuine, and imagine trying to battle it all back. And it's looking battle to be... Battle equalize? No, more than equalizes. Yeah, yeah. It's the upper hand towards Genuine, and it could have gotten hairy if Imagine was able to skull a couple more. But more of that aggression, and that is Genuine and double digits. And I'm really, really liking Genuine's play thus far. They showed a very strong showing on their T side and their CT sub is looking to be more of the same. Looking at the submachine gun buy as well, they know that the CT side is a little bit more expensive, so they're letting a couple of members roam free and just try to line the coffers a little bit and give themselves a bit of a safety net. Yeah, and I mean they've got the rounds they've got the rounds in the bank. They've got that extra Extra bit of distance they've already made up, so it's not really the biggest risk. Bit of an early skirmish there in the smoke, but we're going to see some backing out from there. But yeah, if you can get the economy down nice and early in this second half, it's really going to set you up for the victory, so why wouldn't you? Oof. Exactly, and especially with a couple of numbers tagged up hard. Whoa. Especially hats on 7 HP, and Skull Hunter will be like, yeah, yeah, give me all the money, please. And Epoch will send hats to the bench. And now imagine he does have the bomb on his back and actually gets the bomb down on the gets lower the bomb, side. Yeah. That's, so that's that, big. That's a big deal for Order's money standing. And Jinx does end up finding him. But all in all, a good showing for Order. Just looking at the money that will show up just after the bomb is defused. We'll see how that will look. Yeah, it looks like Order could buy in pretty much properly after that plant. So it had a lot riding behind it. Look at that, full AKs and pretty much full util for Order. And genuine, they're wanting to hang on to the SMGs of the FAMAS. They want to keep it, keep it a little bit on the money conscious side. Which, well, you can't really blame them. Knowing that they, as you said, they do have the breathing room. And a lot of HE nades thrown out towards the T spawn and outside as well. And Ooh, Scars are moving Skull through. Hunter. Moved through Squeaky. Wanted to get more, he did get one before being traded out, and that'll bring order to the upper hand. A three versus two. 
And does does the Soda Gentleman really know exactly where they are? Well, Imagine definitely knows now because Maker stepped out and got punished for it hardcore. And order, well, they bounce back just in the nick of time and just. Just as the round was ending, the bomb went down and the money will be put into the accounts of order. And the gap is now shrinking. 11 to Genuine, 7 to order. And Genuine are now bought in properly. And no AGs, but a lot of incendiaries. Speaks to a bit of a slower play if you're going to be relying on those incendiaries to flush people out, but are on the CT side now, so it's not really in their interest to go in guns blazing aggression like they were doing before, so perhaps not too surprising there. Still, it looks like we've got a skirmish over the A side. Yes, indeed, and Hats will break one off and snatch a second. Skullhunter and Jinxer looking to hold the line, and Skullhunter definitely will. He's gotten the bomb down been Molotov and forced to move, but that doesn't matter. Alistair will greet him Ooh, with 762. Imagine getting him though. And Imagine will stop that reign of terror, and now it is a 1 versus 1 Epoch dub versus Imagine. And Imagine doesn't even have the bomb. Oh, uh, and playing into, yeah, that off there as well. Not a great position to be in. Bombs on the ground, you know that they're going to be watching that one. And the time is against you, so not an enviable position to be in if you are Mr. Imagine there. Definitely Order, no, no starting to get the game back under control. Yeah, they're starting to stay the ship, and no matter how many, no matter how many times or how many games that you play, because a lot of these players have been around the scene for a long time, it doesn't get any Ooh. easier. No matter how Ooh. many games that you play, look at this and look at the rush play towards Secret. Yusilla get chunked up hard and eventually gets toasted to death. The ship's but... passing each other in the night in these smokes, but Stat comes out strong as the snow dissipates. Yeah, and, th and they'll Ooh. definitely know that the bomb is outside of CT Red. And imagine in the vents, ended up claiming one with the CZ, and that's a second there. And the arm picked up at 1 HP. And Skull Hunter will say, That is that. Yeah, so just as quickly as things were starting to look like they were getting back under orders control, genuine strike back once again. Now, bit of a bit of a change up here. We're going back to a bit more of a money making buy from genuine here. Shotgun and an SMG, uh, supported by those rifles. I want to know where Jinx is going to play with the M1014. It looks like he's sitting on top of the hut. Order is now short-handed. Hats is on the casualty sheet, and that engagement definitely came out worse for wear for Alistair. He's tagged down to roughly half. A rotation coming through. Order looking for alternative partways. There's the utility down. Power will definitely be in the hands of Genuine. It definitely will be now. If I can make it just being a dynamic duo. And now Valiance and Ustillo have it all to do against the entire CT squad of Genuine. And now it's only Yustillo. Gets it down though. Gets the bomb down, so that is a big deal. Oh, they're all in the vents! <laughs> what is it? What is this alien? They're all stuck in the vents! And Yustillo's well, running as fast as his legs can carry him. Whoa. Does take down a second, but gets overrun by Skull Hunter. That could have gotten really, really ugly for Genuine if they weren't careful, but thankfully, the ship is steadied and there's another round of the board. Yeah, almost the big hero play there, with the three dropping into the vents and not expecting to see him there. If he'd had a slightly more powerful weapon, that could have actually been a very dangerous 3k. 
but uh, unfortunately, only rocking the SMG. Not quite the punching power to drop them quickly enough that they won't be able to respond to him. So he gets what he can and gets out of there. Gets a lot done, considering it was one, you know, 1v4, 1v5. Yeah, it was one versus the, the entire team, so yeah, one yeah. versus five. Gets a lot done, and uh, racks up some money for the side in the process as well. And then the, the bargain bin buy from Order and a lot of damage from that HE. That's not going to help things, but this will. The bomb is down, and that's forced Genuine to reconsider how they approach this. And Imagine's moving towards ramp and might be trying to snake his way back through, but it might not even be necessary. Epoch watching from heaven. <coughs> and not and not noticing that Imagine's on his way does get taken out, but he did his job. Oh, it was Valiance that got taken out, and that'll be around the board for Order. And Order, if they want to win this out, right, they have to win out from now on, and that is a good, good start. And looking at, at Genuine, they can't do Jack. Yeah, so, I mean, we've seen we've seen upsets with pistols before, but pistols v AKs, you do have to say Order have the advantage here. They should be able to close this out. Should be in the keyword, and well, that's a good start. Make a will. Not be able to make a dent in the armor at all. Ooh. Stat going down there to Valiance. 5 3, now the numbers is. Rotation comes through, looks like they're heading over to Secret. Skull Hunter knows something's up. Yes, indeed. And he still is the bomb carrier. Just wanted to try and protect that. There's, there is still the receptor, and Skull Hunter on the flank Ooh. is huge. It's actually dropped the bomb right at his feet, but there's the smokes to retaliate. Here comes Jinx. Oh, I'm going to trade back. And now, one versus two. This is entirely winnable. If Skull Hunter doesn't let himself be known... Oh, one of the Order members might have actually seen his legs, but Skull Hunter does have the AK. So this is entirely oh, winnable. No. Valiance goes down. So now we are in a one versus one. And Alistair is wanting to try and duel behind the silo. He throws a flash, and just as Skull Hunter turns, he gets taken out with a slug. And... Wow. The gap is closing, but that... Got, that was that, not a cheap round, no. That was the, definitely not, no. Considering the discrepancy in those buys, for it to be a one-man standing at the end, not what you're looking for if you are order. They can take that one on the chin, they've still got the money for another buy, but... Oh, not it's anymore, gotta hurt. Not anymore, they don't, and Stat just runs hats over. Neither of these teams are really in good stats financially Ooh. so it'll be up to either side to win this and try and win this handily and genuine are off to a good start with two on the side of order going down it looks like order have realized this they've decided to use the buddy system to their advantage and they've clawed one back eliminating maker early on oh that's good and valiance eliminating stats so this is Definitely a coin flip now, but you can give the positional advantage now to order because the bomb is now down. They're in defensive positions and now genuine are gonna have to make the moves. Absolutely, and we're seeing the rotation through Skull Hunter has been really good this map. Really impressive plays out of him, but can he pull another one out? That remains to be seen. I'm ticking away there. Genuine need to make their move. And here they come. And you still just shut that down. as claimed to pair before being traded back by, by Epoch and the assistive maker. And Epoch knows that the round is done. 
and he's wanting to get out as quick as he can. He's sitting in the ramp. The bomb will detonate, or it will go to double digits. Does get away with the orb though, so... Going to keep that in the hands of Genuine, who... Still, still up four points, 14 to 10. They are going for another, going for another eco round here, but they can afford it. Once again, like the last one, bled a lot of resources out of order. I'd be hoping for a repeat performance if they can get that. Really going to be very difficult for order to close this one out. And the same could be said for Journey when APOP will be the person to protect because of the AWP on his back, that's definitely going to help. Uh, trade back from Jinx, actually. Just because of the pistols being tucked away in the corners, it's all about like five <laughs> no. for the side of order. And now it is Alistair in a one versus three, but there is one benefit to that. And he does have the bomb on his back, but it is a... It's a DEFCON 1. Just all battle stations. It is looking like... It could be an absolute disaster for Order, but Alistair is definitely no stranger to situations like these. He's trying to rotate down, maybe? No? Where is he coming through? Moving in through... <laughs> Hunt Ooh. and Jinx knew! He knew that he was going to step out, and that will be a Kalashnikov bullet greeting him in short. Well, Order, and now... Match point, series point for Genuine, and they'll be looking to book their ticket to facing Greyhound in the next stage of the tournament. In order, uh, we know that we've seen a lot of a lot of strength with pistols in the history of Australian CS, but they have to win this out just to force extra rounds. Not really liking the chances, and especially with Imagine getting run over early by Skull Hunter. Ooh. And you still are going down as well. It's looking like Order's last gasp. And Alistair is wanting to scream to the heavens. Has eliminated one of a required five. Big whiff on the AWP shot by a pot dud. Is wanting to retreat down towards the lower site. And Skull Hunter's there to give him a hand. Epoch has claimed one. And now it's Hats and a one versus four. And... With the bomb on his back, he's going to be a high-value target. Now, Genuine do not have to lift a finger. They have to wait for Hats to do all the work. Lillian Hats playing it cool. Oh, but unfortunately, that Skull Hunter from behind catching him without guard. With that, that will be Genuine picking up Nuke, picking up this series and upsetting order to make their way through to the next round. Indeed, and their next opponents will be. It's so a six, 16 championship final for Nuke and a 2-1 to one series win for Genuine. And some might actually mark that as an upset, depending on your perspective. And with that done and dusted, Genuine and Greyhound will be the next match up in the tournament. So, two maps to one, 16-8 to order, and then 16-6 to genuine, and then 16-10 to genuine in a 2-1 series victory. And they move on to the next round of the Oceanic Qualifiers for a DreamHack Masters Malmo in 2019. My name has been Saba Waste. I have been joined by Peronius. We shall be moving to a brief intermission, and we shall return very soon. Thank you for your company.